I'm chilling tonight. Not gonna lie. Just gonna mess around with some time trials and, uh, you know, we'll get we'll get something. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? Here's what we're gonna do. Uh oh, hold on. I can't find it. <laughs> Wait, no, I can just put it on scene too. Something's not right. I think um, Avery's time might have gotten. Oh no, I think I'm on the wrong track. <laughs> I was trying to... Ah, there it is. I'm racing Avery. I don't got nothing better to do. So I'm just gonna chill. This is how we... This is how we ball out. For real. Ah, sorry. Yeah, this is the type of shit I'd be doing. Can't, like, do anything crazy with my arm, so. I just kind of have to chill with the, uh, with the Wii right now. I can't really play a lot on there. Very sad. Unfortunately, this is the truth, and I'm not trying to destroy my arm. So, fuck it, we ball. Playing PC for a little bit. Now, see, a lot of people that play this game have a little bit of an advantage on me, because... Uh, I can't hook up a controller, so I play exclusively on mouse and keyboard. So I can't make I can't make smooth turns. Everything has to be an extreme. <sighs> That's whatever. I'll still get it eventually. When I'm not doing shit like that, I'll get it. I mean. That was kind of sad. I'm just chilling for now. I can't like I can't play games and shit is I um, I kind of gave myself um what was it like pitcher's elbow I think I gave myself bad thing and doing anything with my arm hurts and I I think I've just done too much to make it worse so I'm trying to not do that at least for a couple weeks, I think. And then, uh, after a couple weeks, I'll start playing Wii again, just because, like, that's all I can do, you know? People watch me for my Wii gameplay. <laughs> my masterful Wii gameplay. Because I'm, I'm clearly so good at video games. Hi, Paper Goose. Sorry, I wasn't able to see the message. I had to scroll down. On my browser. <laughs> I have it on my other monitor. It has been a while since the last stream. I've been streaming a lot less frequently. Um, this last week has been so, like, beyond busy for me for no reason. I just haven't had the time or the energy. Hi, Zai. 
fuck going on? It's Supporter82, everybody. Let us head Supporter. What about Baltimore? I'm just racing for real. I'm trying to beat Avery's ghost. I'm not doing a very good job at it. I can't do that precise turning shit. It's annoying. Messed it all up. That's that's this lap completely thrown. I tapped a wall. I tapped a wall for a millisecond. Lost no speed. I'm fucked. Yeah, that cooked me. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna save up some of my nitro for the next lap. So that way I can. Uh, I can get the early boost and essentially have an extra nitro. That's the best way to do it. I think. Fuck, man. I'm like, <laughs> I'm a wall magnet. They call me a wrecking ball. Not that I came in like me, but... Slamming into shit like one would. I wonder if my, uh... Part of my issue is my nitrous timing. Because I feel like that plays more of a role than I think it does. Because I just use it all willy nilly. There's a little bit of strategy to it. His eye's dead. Oh, I just killed him. So, uh, I don't know if they're going to be responding to me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And I just lost all my fucking nitrous again. What does that imply, IRL? Does this imply that when you make contact with things, you, uh, you lose fuel when you're fast? I might try switching to, um, Keiko, or, you know, I might, uh, I might say fuck it and play Zing. Because Zing has the silly drift car, and there's a certain strategy with it that I just, I, I don't have down yet, but I'm working on it. It's essentially just slide the entire race and constantly keep Nitro. I really don't know how some people are that good at this game. It's kind of scary. To be totally honest. Faster, faster. 
And that's the wall. Okay, well, there goes that one. Apparently I love cooking myself the way I keep fucking hitting anyone. Yes, I did mean to misspell the title. I'm not having a stroke. Yet. Not yet. So you don't know how she keeps so much speed through some of these corners. Like, I'd just be lacking for you. I'm lagging behind. Yeah, I don't know. It might be time to bust out the Zing strategy, because I don't know if Marcus is working for me. I'll show off the Zing strategy if I can. It's, uh, it's definitely not my, my forte, but, like, other people do it, I mean, you know? They can go to the time trials of the game and you see other people. You see other people doing it. And then there's me hitting walls because apparently that's a strategy. The way I do it over and over and then expect something to change. I got this. Oh, that might have just cooked me. Yep, it did. I just cooked myself again. Like, how is she keeping up, bro? That makes no sense. Ugh. I can't win. There's got to be a way to do it. I don't know how she did it, though. Hi, Shadow. Oh my fucking gosh, I'm hitting walls! Dude, get off the wall! What are you doing? Gosh. I'm like... I just don't even know what to do at this point. Let me, let me go back around and hit the nitro before the start again. Hopefully. Because I know I'm close. I'm getting there. I'm only... I'm only about 600 milliseconds off. Or 6 milliseconds off. 600 milliseconds would be like, that would be 60 seconds, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm worried about copyright. I can put music on. I do actually have music on, it's just really quiet. Yeah, see, there's music. I'll turn it up a little bit so it's more audible. <laughs> I'm getting cooked for it, definitely, but you know. I don't know what you want me to do. I might as well put something on. I'm gonna go, we'll go back at it again. Here, I'll, I'll show you this, this zing shit. 
Because I really, I really don't understand how people do it. Oh, excuse me. It's like, it's, cr it's crazy to watch. Look, he just, he's flying. As it should be blurry I love the fucking the voice lines in the game are funny I don't know how the guy this guy carries so much speed when he plays he might be the best hotshot racing player in the world I'm not gonna lie Cause I just do this over and over and I look like a I look like an actual squirrel yeah I have no idea how he does it or she this nitrous do nitrous dog guy Or nitrous duh. <laughs> I don't know what that fucking says. Just call him nitrous. I don't know how bro does it. But it's actually like... It kind of blows my mind. And I want to be able to do it too. I just don't know if I'll ever really get it down. It's one of those things, you know. Like, there's just... He, he holds it through every corner, and I just don't get it. Holy shit, okay. I had it there for a second. I was, I was setting it 250. I think I, I think I can do it. It'll take me a minute, but I'm 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 certain now that I can do this. Maybe not. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm no longer certain. <laughs> this is hard. I mean, it, it's fun when I'm, when it's working. I, I do think I can get it. Breaking's music. I hear the the cavern music remix. I gotta get I gotta get that nitrous before the lap starts, or it's just not. It doesn't work. See, I kind of had it there for a second. It's 
it's got to be like a certain way of sliding because I noticed that I just randomly gain speed when I slide at a certain angle. So it's got to be some kind of exploit with the drift. It's got to be something like that. Like staying at that angle as long as possible. And I just cooked myself. Damn it. But I'll get back up there. I'll get back up there. He just has, he has so much speed. Fuck. Okay. Well, he he's getting an extra nitrous right before the start, and that's how he's starting off so fast. I can't even get up to the speed. It's like it's actually like it blows my mind for real. I'm gonna have to watch it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch a YouTube tutorial on it later. There's, there's probably something on YouTube about it. The hotshot racing community is small, but... You know, most people put stuff like that on YouTube. Maybe like metal. I could check metal. I started using metal, like... Semi-frequently. And I do, I do kind of like it. It's like a Instagram for game clips, basically. Fuck! Oh. Okay. Man. Okay, that tunnel area was pretty good. I did that pretty decent. I just gotta do that everywhere. I think I'm good enough at racing games to be able to make this happen. I just gotta believe in myself. And all my dreams will come true. Power of imagination. I just need to imagine myself not hitting any fucking walls and then maybe I could do it. This is really, this is really not good. I gotta, 
Like, I really don't know. I really, I really don't. Okay. Well, that's not helping me at all. I might go look into this really quick, like on stream, and try to figure this out. There's gotta be a specific way to do this. Cause I know I, I know I can do this. But I think you know, maybe I'm just brain dead. And maybe I maybe I don't know what I'm doing. think it's just um I think it's just timing turbos and uh smooth turns which I can't exactly do smooth turns but the down arrow means I'm doing worse than the ghost that's what that means my youtube recommended uh no <laughs> It's probably, I'm going to be real with you, it's probably like, I don't really look at my recommended. Um, it's probably like Sunday and, Sunday and like Mario Kart Wii content. I really fuck with Sunday when he's not making Among Us content. Because Among Us has just been like actually burnt out of every platform. I hated, I hated the game from the start, but like watching content of it for so long, cause he's been doing it for years. He went like, it, there wasn't any variety. I like his, I liked his variety content. Like I was, I was huge into the, um, the TerraTech series that he did. So I really liked TerraTech. And, uh, I, I liked when he would, when he would consistently play different stuff instead of, like, two variety videos, maybe every two weeks, and then the rest of it is just Among Us. Like, I couldn't stand it. So I stopped. I, I kind of stopped watching him. And that's why years ago I made that, that Sunday's Channel is Dying video. When I was like, like, I was I was probably between 14 and 16 to be honest, um, and I just wanted to like, it was just me bitching that he was making one kind of content and not doing variety, which in reality I I I didn't have a right to talk on like it's not my channel, people can do what they want it's just you know I prefer when. People are not robots, I guess. I remember the like the, the Sunday and Craner days, like when Craner still faked his voice. Like I I've been watching that for a long fucking time. And then they they, they kinda of stopped talking. Yeah, he did kind of turn into a kid's channel. I don't even know what happened to Craner. I just know that, like, something kind of happened between them, and they... I don't, I don't know, but Craner just started playing with, like, Slogan and Jelly. I remember when, um... Jelly, Slogan Man, and Quibble Cup were, like, 
YouTube titans. Like, some of the most well-known, well-respected creators on the platform. What happened? Now Quebble Cop's a fucking robot, literally. Like an actual AI. Very, very depressing. Very depressing that these kind of kinds of things happen. Turned himself into a fucking AI to make content forever. That's not why people watch your shit, bro. They watch it for you. It's not it's not about the game and the editing and the views, it's it's the person behind it, you know, that's what makes that's what makes a YouTuber is the personality. But then again, I guess when your personality devolves into um, constantly flexing your money and wealth that was given to you by your viewers, it's, you know, that kind of happens. You lose that personality. And then you have to turn to a fucking desecrated version of it through AI. Hire editors to do your fucking job for you and shit. If you're even hiring editors at that point. Because there, there's AI video editing stuff now that just edits the video for you. And it, I, I genuinely fucking hate it. Like it ruined the whole essence of being a YouTuber. I think, I think all of that kind of happening like... Kind of killed my desire to be a YouTuber when I got older, you know what I mean? Like, I kinda, I kinda gave up. I don't, I don't make content as often anymore. It's not like I don't like doing it, but I, I don't like all the negative, the negative thoughts that come with it, you know? And it, music has been kind of coming that way, too. Like, I'm really starting to not enjoy making music uh, very much. Because, like, I, it's almost... I don't I don't feel like I deserve to be an artist, you know? Because I don't, I don't produce my own shit. I don't... I'm not really pushing any boundaries. I'm just... I'm just making things that don't do anything. And I, I don't feel particularly fulfilled or meaningful because of that. I don't really know how to put it into words. There's a lot of things that, that play into it, I think. But it also could be because I'm not, like, manically depressed. Maybe I just... Maybe I need to go through, like, another... Uh horrendous life event to be able to really make something cool again. Maybe that needs to happen. See, I was at 270 there for a second. There's gotta be a way to, like, Keep that speed throughout the whole lap. I real, I really just, I really just don't get it. Yeah, making, I know making things to make them isn't bad, but that's not the my goal. Like, I, I want to make something that that people can fuck with and relate to, and like draw inspiration from or draw energy from and like you know I, I, I want to connect with people on on more than just the surface level that's why that's why when I stream I like I try to talk about real shit and I don't I don't say chat or anything like that because at heart I'm an entertainer at heart like that's what I love doing I love entertaining people and connecting with people even if I'll, I'll never get to meet them again you know like that's what really drives me I think 
Um, I, I guess now that I'm thinking about it, it's it's like a raccoon egg situation. Rest in peace, raccoon eggs. I don't know where the fuck the guy is, but I hope he's doing well. I know, I know he was having life issues, but like raccoon and JC the caster are like. That's what I think of when I when I am listening to myself so much. I want to build those connections and make memories. And maybe it'll make somebody feel less alone, like it, like it does for me. Because... I mean, I, I am just alone all the time, right? During the day, I'm completely offline. And I have, like, one IRL friend that I hang out with at all. And at night, I get online and get harassed by friends. And just stream or play a game and scream at each other. I, I feel like there, there's no, not not all the time, because a lot of those online moments are really special. But there's no there's no real life contact. I'm in, in the end, I'm just in a room by myself, or I'm outside by myself. Because that's that's what I am. I'm I'm in my room by myself, or I'm at work, or majority of the time, I'm outside walking around in a fucking circle, you know? <laughs> and that's just, that's, that's kind of my life in a nutshell. So it's, it's like, you know, watching stuff or listening to music or, you know, whatever, just, it, it or making it. You know, making those those things, it makes me feel less alone. It just sucks that I that I am alone all the time. It's a blessing and a curse because I, I like being alone but I hate it at the same time. But I'm I'm so like fucked up emotionally now like trust wise because of shit that's happened I like I don't feel like I can connect with people like that anymore because every time I've connected with people especially online I just get like it's always a bad experience and IRL uh, people out here don't like me, and the ones that I thought liked me, uh, I just ended up using me for like free rides or whatever. I mean, it's whatever, man. But it, it kind of kills your trust in people. It, it kind of kills your ability to build connections, even though it really, you know, it shouldn't do that, but. You, know, you only know one thing for so long, and that's just what you come to expect from everyone, even if you know that the person isn't like that. Really, really bad habit that I really need to break. people like me um I think there's a lot of ways to answer that and a lot of ways that those answers could be countered I think it's just because I think part of it's the way that I talk uh, I've been told that the way I speak to people can come off as very condescending even though I, I really don't notice it it's just how I talk I my vocabulary is pretty, uh, 
eccentric, I guess. I use a lot of words and I and phrases. And I like I, I talk about deeper shit and it's not like I don't talk about like surface level stuff all the time because it's just not who I am. It's not what I enjoy talking about. I'm a lot like my mom in that way. <laughs> she got I'm fu I'm fucked. I'm cooked because my mom raised me to talk about my emotions, and people don't like that. That type of shit. You got the same problem. Well, that's okay because that's what our little <laughs> that's what our little group is. It's essentially what we are. We're like we're the people that uh, people tend to not be able to connect with as well and then we end up making even deeper connections than they ever could which is pretty cool fuck man It's just kind of life. Life is Roblox. I think it's also because I've lived in the same area for so long, and I was pretty irritating as a kid, to be honest. Like, I irritated a lot of people my age because I was very energetic. I was very goofy. And I've, I've lived in the same area my whole life. Like, I've never moved house once. So, everybody out here that has known me at any point probably thinks negative of, negatively of me because of, you know, how I was, say, six years ago. So that's the last time anybody really saw me. I got taken out of public school and shit. Got a lot quieter, stopped talking less, or stopped talking as much. Well, you've moved around a lot. You've had clean slates. People don't know you when you move, you know? You, you meet new people. I have to go sit in a dangerous city with a fucking longboard or just, like, walk around and talk to strangers on the street to meet new people. And there's about a 40% chance I'm going to get stabbed with a needle and a 20% chance they're going to try to sell me tent. So... <laughs> That's just, that's just how people are now, partially, I think. I think if you have morals, you're considered an outcast. Because, of, you know, especially with, like, dating culture now. Because, like, people make commitment issues of sexuality. And, you know, it's just... Like the fa okay, so demisexual. I, from what I know, demisexual is like you don't feel attracted to somebody unless you have a real connection with them. Um, I would think that's just called not, um, not sleeping around or like trying to do stuff with everyone. You know, I would think that's just called being normal. That's that's just me though. I don't. I'm not. I'm not super into all the terms. Like I, I there's probably a couple thousand terms that I don't know. Abby is not pregnant. If she is, she must have eaten a lot of pasta. I'm reading chat and it's- I'm fucking slamming into everything now. Yeah, I feel like I fuck with everybody, but a lot of people don't fuck with me. And it's just... How shit go? I'm gonna be honest with you, dating... Now... Is really just... It's pretty shit. 
Like, there's honestly no point. For me, it's like, if it happens, cool. Well, I mean, I... <laughs> if I were single right now, um, it'd be like, if shit happens, cool, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to do anything. I'm glad I made that decision, because now I'm, I'm a pretty happy guy. Because neither of us are forcing anything, and it's really cool. Okay, if you two are just gonna fucking come in here to talk shit to everybody in my chat, then get the hell out. You do this in my server, and now you're taking it into here, now that you're not in the server. Fuck off. Fuck off, fuck out. One of you looks like the palm tree, and one of you looks like the coconut. You're a fucking... you're a pear. You're a potted plant getting shipped around in a truck. You guys- you fucking antagonize people all the time, bro. You and Kibble both. You both do it pretty frequently. That includes me. You antagonize me pretty frequently. <laughs> Yeah, now you're not in the server. Actually, no, you're both in the fucking server. At least if that's Kibble. That might not be Kibble. If that's not Kibble, I actually don't know who that is. But Ben, you know exactly what I'm fucking talking about. sucking it. Uh, right. It's not that it's <laughs> you would literally just like go out of your way to irritate people in my server. Like I I observed it. You go out of your way to irritate me sometimes. And that's like I, that's just how we are and I don't really care when you're doing it to me. As long as it doesn't go overboard. But there's just like, it's when you do it to randoms or like people that you aren't, you know, super, super close with or whatever. It just makes it weird. Then people get angry. Okay. Well, somebody here is illegitimate. Hi, Toby. I'm gonna learn this. I will figure it out. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't talk to anybody anymore. I haven't been talking to anybody recently. Like, since when I, when I took a break from uh, the Hilltop server, I literally didn't talk to anybody. Because Sammy was gone, and VC in my server was fucking dead, pretty much. Um, so I, I called Abby a couple of times, but that was really it. So I, I just kind of didn't talk to anybody for a little bit. Fucking cooking myself, bro. This is a good track to learn this one, though. Figure out the handling a little bit better.
I can I can definitely get this down tonight. Hopefully tonight. Not if I keep cooking myself like this. I hit my mic. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I might be able to get this on it. Hi, Zai. Welcome back. Did you go to lift funny metal circles? Cast iron skillets, even? Hey, I'm not failing it. I'm just not understanding how to keep so much speed the whole time. That's not me failing. I've only hit a couple walls. I don't, like, I don't know how he's keeping so much speed the whole time. Oh, wait a second. I might have just figured out tech. Oh my gosh. I'm in fifth gear. Why was I in fifth? Okay, but now that I've figured this out, I'm going to have to relearn half of what I know. Your best time is fucking zero seconds. You've never played this game. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get this lap over with and save a, a turbo so I can, I can get the, the extra boost. Yeah, I kind of have to, I have to relearn the car's handling. Because whatever I'm doing right now is messing with the handling. But it's cool because it lets me slide all the time. And it's essentially like Mario Kart snaking. I'll get it. I'll get it eventually. You don't have the top score because the top score is fucking cheated. And you don't have the game in the first place. You can't get the top score if you don't even have the game, you fucking goober. the speeding you know. actually no my dad made this game with his big box um uh he can ban you so better watch how you talk on my name. My dad owns Steam. My dad is Gabe Moore.
My dad will ban you on iRacing. And that would probably be doing you a favor. It's like getting all your Destiny 2 progress deleted. It's just... Okay, see, yeah, see, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. The only thing I need to do is figure out how he's keeping turbo. Because if I can figure out how he's keeping so much turbo, I'm good. Is that Allison? Hello. What's going on? I'm getting this down. Zesty ah hello. That's me. I'm the zesty. I'm the zestmeister. After how much zesty cheese bread I made at Little Caesars, I'm the zestmeister. Okay, I fucking hit the wall, son of a bitch. Well, it's all right if you're not if you're not in the best mood. That's all good. Just how shit go at times, but, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll get out of here. We'll make it out of the, <laughs> we'll make it out of the hood. Fucking <laughs> the uh, fuck, I can't. My words aren't working. The zip up jacket hood, uh, because I'm walking through a school hallway and one of the fucking teachers is gonna scream at me if I don't take my hood off. Because apparently hoods are distracting and an identity risk. But, you know, a student can bring a felling axe into class and nobody notices until they hold it out in the middle of class. Whip it out during show and tell in front of the teacher. Look what I brought to school. Then they care. But until that point, I don't give a fuck. As long as your hood's now. Okay, we're we're gonna fix this lap. Catch up here and then we're gonna we're gonna slam this next lap. 40, 60, 70, 82, 93. That's a really old, that's a really old bit. Really old inside joke. Okay, well I guess I'm not cooking this lap. That's okay, we'll get it next lap. 100%. Now that I figured out this this like infinite sliding tech, it's it's helping me a lot. And from then on, it's just practice and drive sense. Driving sense. And then... Oh no, that could have been 
That could have been a really good one. It is an old joke. Yeah, it, it's an iconic joke. Like, that's unforgettable. Um, fuck with Delta Airlines. Actually, this is a... This is Hotshot Airlines. That's what this is. Well, it would be if I could fucking get past 200 miles an hour, but... No, I'm... Failing miserably. Ryan Air. 8 bit Ryan? I fuck with 8 bit Ryan. 8 bit Ryan has stayed a legendary content creator. Didn't fall off, didn't, you know, change how he did stuff. He just. He just, you know, aged. He's aged really well. His content has aged really well. He's still very enjoyable to watch. You can't say that about a lot of content creators now. You know, he didn't end up liking kids or, you know, making exclusively Among Us content. There's a variety, there's personality. So, 8 Bit Ryan is such a hard content creator to beat. Like, I, I genuinely can't think of anybody right now that solos Ava Ryan. Absolutely one of my favorite content cr creators, if not my favorite. It's really just up there, man. Daco's doing it, or, yeah, Daco's doing it, right? I was never, like, I wasn't a huge Daco fan, but I still like Daco. I don't watch him as consistently anymore. But, fuck with Daco. Dude Perfect does not slam shit. Dude Perfect is a bunch of guys that like sports too much. Granted, Dude Perfect is still a pretty good channel. I, I can fuck with Dude Perfect. I'm, a, I'm also a pretty big TWD98 fan. I'm a pretty big uh, Cyphers fan. I Cyphers. Um, this this might this one's probably just me, but I really fucking like Cogstock. Uh, a lot of my video inspiration comes from Cogstock and the way that they edit their videos and structure them. Really fuck with them. Uh, JetZulo859 is a pretty good... <laughs> pretty good one! Mr. Cullen. I was really not happy when we brought those videos up, like in class. Like he privated them and everything. He he privated all the videos, but if you go into the browser and look for them, you can still watch them. Like they're not, they're just gone from the channel dash, which is fucking hilarious. I don't know how he managed to fuck it up that bad. <laughs> But it, like, middle school, it was really funny. I need to stop trying to read chat. 
and race at the same time. It's really not doing me any good. <laughs> I'm getting beaten out by five whole seconds. That's a lot of time, bro. I'm just straight up, like, not paying attention. I need to lock in. expecting to beat the world record, but I want to, I want to be happy with my time, you know, but I, I can't be happy with my time when I'm doing shit like that over and over, man, we did hit an hour, and that means I'm probably going to end stream soon, because I got some SCP-5K to play. Gotta get footage for that. That's that's probably gonna be the next video. SCP 5K. I've been wanting to do a satisfactory video for so long, but I never get like good content for it. Maybe I'll do maybe I'll do a, a satisfactory stream. And like, just play Satisfactory for a few days and try to progress as far as I can. It could be fun. Satisfactory is good. Uh, I think the uh, the full game finally releases this year. Summer. Because right now they're in um, beta eight, I think. And I think they're releasing it. Yeah, they're releasing it this year. It's on Twitter. Dude, the Satisfactory... Whoever's behind the Satisfactory account's fucking funny. I hate Twitter, but... I like, uh... I like looking at, like, random accounts. Because if the account's funny, then there's a good chance I'm going to follow it. I'm a big fan of Pilgrim. This is what you would look like if you were black or Chinese. This is a really funny bit. I don't know why, but that bit was fucking hilarious to me. I can't believe people, like, genuinely got offended by that shit. Shout out to Hood Siege for real. We gotta start playing on PlayStation again so we can get- you can get another episode. Oh, I'm fucking- I'm trashing my entire time right now. The PS4 days were something else. Certainly an interesting time. Just start playing GTA 5 again. That was the main. That was my main thing about switching uh, to PC. Is that. I lost all the progress I had in games and shit, and it won't let me link my Rockstar account on PC for whatever reason. What's going on? I'm getting huge frame drops.
never had it do that before. I don't know if that's because I'm streaming or what. See if I can fix it. It might be because I'm moving faster than you're supposed to through the map. I might also be part of it. Yeah, I don't understand it either. That, but I'm I'm trying to figure it out, and I I think I'm kind of getting it. The whole thing is like, there's a certain angle that you can get while you're drifting, and it you just like shoot up in speed like to 270. Like that's what I was sitting at earlier. If you cannot hit walls like I'm doing right now. Now, now that I'm like, now that I'm looking into it, I genuinely think the times with these cars are usually legitimate. But the world record on this track is literally zero seconds, so that one's definitely not legitimate. That's why I'm racing nitrous. This is, uh, their times are actually legitimate. I think the whole thing is just constantly sliding, so you're constantly getting boost. And because of the high drift stat, you stay at a high speed while you're sliding. So it all works. I'm definitely no world record player, but... Oh, that would have been fucking it. That would have been the best run. Fuck. I have to do a whole nother lap to build all that speed back. I'm essentially just holding space by the whole time. I didn't realize you could do that. But if you're going in a straight line, then it just doesn't work. You have to be at an angle. Yeah, I, I'm stuck on keyboard. I, I I hate it. I hate that I'm stuck on keyboard. But honestly, I think if I switch to controller now, I wouldn't be able to do it. Cause I I, I learned on uh, keyboard. I just I don't think I could do that transfer. If I were to play with a controller, it'd be a PS4 controller. Because that's what I have. I tried a PS3 controller. PS3 controllers do not work. Unfortunately. I think you need, um... Actually, I think you need an Xbox controller for this game. I don't think it even works with, uh, PlayStation. is a load of shit.
so that might be my issue. But this game is released on Xbox, so that's probably why it's got the Xbox controller scheme. Fuck, man. You have to be perfect. You can't recover if you hit anything. Damn it, bro. Using Sentinel, yeah, I think the uh, Porsche 911. I think you can uh, use Keiko or uh, Toshiro too, but um, I'm pretty sure Zing is the the best speed-wise. Everybody be using him. I have not been on the same map for an hour and 18 minutes. I said I might do we. I didn't say I would. I didn't say it was a guarantee. I said and slash or. I'm not talking pronouns when I say that. Also, it doesn't help that I'm getting, like, frame rate drops. I'm sorry, Abby, that I didn't see your fucking chat. God forbid. I'm gonna put you in a really big tire and roll you down a hill. I know it was a joke, bro. I'm not mad. No fighting it. You are you are one to talk, bro. Don't be fighting in chat. Don't be fighting in chat. And then you're fucking. You don't fight, but you antagonize. Make you make those little fucking comments. Call me a call me a poor mother figure the way I'm about to beat the shit out of you for disobeying me. <laughs> so fucking knock it off. I'm gonna get a whooping. I'm gonna throw a house at you. You think if you threw a house at somebody, it would like hurt? Or would it kill them instantly? Alright, that's enough of this fucking track. I'm it's just not happening. I'm not getting a good run. I'm becoming very upset. 
I haven't beaten the staff ghost. Bye. Thank you for stopping by. It was nice to see you. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna run a couple attempts at this and then I think that's gonna be stream. The first lap doesn't count. Because you gotta build up that speed. I remember why I didn't do this one. Cause it's cause of that fucking turn right there. There's no way to like fly through it. You have to slow down. Just to my knowledge, there's no way to. Oh, I'm. What is going on? I'm not doing this track, never mind. I changed my mind. <laughs> I don't wanna. Actually, what's the what's the casino map? Sever toes would hurt, yeah. A full size inhabitable house is just an instant kill. Um, or you could like, you could get a Lego house thrown at you, and it would probably hurt. It wouldn't be that bad. Fuck. Okay, jeez. Okay, come over and throw a dollhouse at me now. I would love for you to do that. Yeah, on straight there I was catching up with, with uh, the ghost. Fuck! Oh, I got air, bro. Damn it. No, yeah, the camera's on, Abby. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, well, I was gonna say now we're cooking, but I'm definitely not, definitely not cooking. Dude, 
Dude, I just, I can't fucking do this. If I can get a fucking decent run there, I would, I'd have a sub 40. My dog's outside barking at the fucking phantoms of the night. As per usual. I genuinely think my dog has schizophrenia. That was suboptimal. If I could stop selling my rank. If I could stop selling my rank, I might have this sub 40 time, but. I'm too busy hitting every fucking wall on the map. I'm in a I'm in a pinball machine. So I just need to not use nitrous before that turn, and I'm I'm good. didn't turn back fast enough. I just fucking cooked myself again. Dude, it's it's always like <sighs> fuck. Okay, I'll, next time I I'm gonna get one more good attempt and then I'll, I'm done because I'm starting to get a little irritated. Shut the fuck up, Kibble. Maybe your safety rating would be down if you took your own advice. I'm aware Abby doesn't know how to spell. She doesn't know how to spell anything. You think cannon is like... You think cannon's an exception?
Bro, fucking turn. What are you doing? Damn it. Apply high downforce on my nuts, buddy. I don't want to hear shit from you. And I fucking hit the wall coming up. Dude, this is unfucking believable. myself okay please don't be calling anybody the name of a pedophile I don't appreciate that sick and tired of this shit. I'm, I'm not gonna do anything risky. I'm just gonna get to the last turn and get the nitro and then go to the next lap. Okay, I'm happy. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna end stream now. So, um, thank you for watching me drive at walls and, you know, do all that stuff. Um, I appreciate you for tuning in, for talking to me, for hanging out. And I'll see you guys. And... And wherever I'm at next. <laughs> uh, good night and goodbye. I'll see you later. <laughs>